Hey, everybody. I came across this incredible AI tool for teachers that I wanted to share with you. I found it a couple of weeks ago, maybe two weeks ago, and I've just been playing around with it. And I really love this one because, first of all, it definitely gives guidance for teachers. And it seems like the developers know a lot about how teachers plan and therefore the prompts that it asks as you're using this tool really do seem to flow with the way that you would create resources for your teaching or for your um for your role in education so i want to just take you on a quick walk through it the first thing i want to show you is the chat so right now i'm selected on the chat over here but if you look in the middle these are all of the different prompt topics that you can go through in case you're not sure how you want to get started or if you need some ideas on um, how to prompt Elena to get you some resources that you're looking for. So for example, let's see, I'll just try um, critical thinking prompts. And then if you look, there are a whole bunch of different ideas for you for critical thinking prompts. You don't have to copy and paste, you just click on it and it will take you right into the workspace. So what are some strategies for teaching students to recognize and evaluate bias and information? So let's click on that one. And now you're just going to have a conversation with the chat bot. So it's going to pull up some strategies on the right hand side. You can see where your initial um, query was. And then down here on the bottom, you can continue to have ongoing conversation about the results of this particular query. You can also import. I already have a piece of um, or a resource that I want students to uh evaluate for potential bias i could actually attach the resource here and then i could ask elena to create um some questions or some strategies around that specific resource so i really love that you can pull the resources into the actual planning because you know as you know we don't all just come to the table here with absolutely no resources and in a lot of cases we have years of resources and we want to be able to incorporate them with ai tools to either liven them up or make them better or just have a new um, take on them so i love that you can do that with this chat so take a minute if you um when you get a chance to go into elena and look at some of these prompt ideas and then you can have some like t exit ticket templates i know i would use this one a lot field trip suggestions um yeah this is really exciting so the next part of elena that i'm excited for teachers to see is the tools menu so this is really comprehensive guide to AI tools. I'm going to close my little window. AI tools that could benefit um, you and your role in education. So you can either just look at all of the tools or you can sort by what um, you hope to accomplish. So maybe you're planning or you're trying to gather resources, create assessments, etc. So actually, while I'm on the assessments, I'll just go ahead and click on this one. This one's called the resource, uh, sorry, the rubric generator. And now it's going to prompt you in a way that I think makes Elena pretty different from some of the other ones that I've seen. And let me show you how. So you can enter in information to get started with the tool. So let's say that the assessment title is um, essay on the first chapter of To Kill a Mockingbird. Select the grade, grade six select the subject, language arts, and then it allows you to upload the assessment you would like AI to use. So if you already have an assessment, let's say you already have a rubric, whether it's on your computers, a PDF or a doc, or if it's in Drive, you can actually use that and the rubric will be created based on what you already have as criteria. But I'm going to skip that just to see what it comes up with. Now, this is very vague essay on the first chapter of To Kill a Mockingbird. But I want to show you what it looks like. So you just click Get Started. It says I can share my criteria and I can also browse standards. Now, I know that there are many, many standards in here. So let's see, I'll just do, I'll do Common Core. Common Core State Standards, Common Core ELA and sixth grade and then i'm going to click save i'll go down to writing standards and then i can go through and i can pick the standards from the common core and i'm just going to pick 
I don't know this one because I'm not exactly sure which one I would choose, but the assessment description. So I'll just do a um, table grid. And then the rubric type, I'm going to select a uh, single point. And the scale type, I'll do five. And then I can click on show advanced inputs if I want. But for now, since the AI is going to create this, I'm just going to keep it, keep that blank. And then I'm going to click generate rubric. So again, this was not a lot of information, but it is going to generate a rubric for this particular chapter. It's going to um, pull in the common core elements that I had selected. And now you can see that the rubric has been generated. So there's also, I like that there's a rubric on the writing organization style. And then there's also a rubric for a presentation for grammar and mechanics. And I think there will be, there likely will be one more. Oh no, that's it. Okay. So then if you don't like the rubrics that it came up with, you can um, give it a little thumbs down, a little dislike and regenerate it. Or if you do like it, it's good to give feedback to the chatbot so that it knows your style over time. So now what I can do is I can click continue to the next step. And then you see it's going to have the rubric over here on the left, and then it's going to give you suggestions. And I really like this feature because these are things that maybe I hadn't thought of if I was in another tool or if I was in ChatGPT, I'd have to maybe tease out some of these suggestions by asking questions. But Elena will provide these suggestions for you, which I think is just such a nice feature. So, um, and then you can also have a chat about the rubric. So the chatbot says, hi, I'm here to help you enhance and customize a rubric. Let me know if you have any changes. So you could say, consolidate this rubric for, instead of having it be a language arts presentations and grammar, you could have it consolidated into just one rubric. So you can really play around with that and, and make sure that it's exactly the way you want it. And this is a lot faster than, um, than any rubric I've ever made. So then I can copy the rubric output and I can paste it somewhere. I can download it as a PDF. Or if I click save, I can add it to a workspace. And this is my own personal workspace within Elena. So I could just create a new folder and then I could say, so I'll just do TKAM to kill a mockingbird and then I'm saving it here. And then here it is. So the other thing I really like about it is I can actually edit it right in here if I want. And if I click on um, one of these particular, like one of these boxes that has text inside text boxes, I can click on the AI assistant and then the AI assistant can help me extend this. It can give me an emoji. It can level the text, check the tone of voice or change the tone of voice. And then also it can translate it into another language and it can do this right inside the document. So that is just super flexible instead of copy paste and then go in and have to translate elsewhere. It's all right here. And then you can also add images. You can insert YouTube videos. So again, this is just one feature that Elena has. Um, I and mean, think about the possibilities on this one. Another one that I suggest you take a look at is this lesson planner. So if I click on use tool, once again, it's gonna ask me just to give some basic un understanding to start with the tool. So I'll do understanding the water cycle and then I'll do grade four. Subject will be science. And then again, I can upload any information or a current lesson plan that I'm already using. I can down browse instructional models. That's an optional feature, but I do wanna show you this one because now you can incorporate a 5E model or workshop model or direct instruction. So I'm gonna do the 5E model. So now it has that as part of the instructions and then I'm gonna click get started. And then just like the other one, it's going to take me to this page, kind of craft the um, lesson plan, get a little more information from me. So in addition to browsing the standards and adding standards, I can also copy and paste goals and objectives for a lesson on the water cycle, or I can have the AI generate the goals and objectives. So Elena is going to generate goals and objectives. Now, these may not be exactly what I hoped for in this lesson, so I can you know, just copy and paste. I can delete the ones I like. I can rewrite them. But for the sake of this demo, I'll just leave them as is. Then I can say how long I want the class to be or the lesson rather, 50 minutes. 
And then again, once it starts teasing out additional information from me, I can have the AI help with that. So I'm going to click AI generate for the procedures. And then I can include my own lesson materials and resources, or I can have the AI generate the list of materials and resources. So I think I'll just do AI generate. And I'm going to zoom back out so you can see that it's pulling it all together. And then again, um, the advanced inputs, you could put an assessment, you could have the AI generate a quiz at the end of the lesson, homework on the end, differenti differentiation. So let's do that. Actually, that would be very helpful. Provide visual aids and diagrams. Yeah, this is great. And then enrichment or extension activities. So lots of information there on how to enhance this lesson. So now I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to click generate lesson plan. And it's going to put it all in the right. And this is everything that I asked for. Now, remember, anything that I didn't like, I can take out before it generates. But if I have something I want to edit later, as you know, and as you saw a minute ago, you can edit this at any time. So here's the 5E model. Engage, explore, explain, extend, evaluate. There's the materials and resources. And then the differentiation. So now I'm going to click continue to next step. And sometimes if it's still generating, this will take a minute. So I might have gone a little fast. Oh, nope, it popped right in there. Okay, so now here are some suggestions. So, oh, this is interesting because I skipped over the standards. It says consider specifying standards in this lesson. So that's, that's very helpful. Um, and then some other suggestions based on, um, you know, just what this lesson maybe is lacking. Some suggestions on what might make it better. I can ask some questions about the lesson. And then I am going to save it again. I'm gonna put it into, I'll just do new folder and I'll just do science. And then I'm gonna click save to drive. And now once again, I can edit any of this with the AI or I can edit it on my own and make sure that this is exactly um, the lesson that I wanna present the following day or put this into a unit, um, a bigger science unit for uh, that month. And I can also share this with colleagues and I can also publish it to the web. So let's say I created a lesson plan and there are elements of it that I want to share with my colleagues. I can just click on um, publish and share link. Oops. And then you just click copy and I can send this to my colleague. And then my colleague can go in and edit this document as well. So think about when you're planning with your colleagues for an upcoming unit or lesson, how quick and easy it would be to collaborate on something together. And then you can also push any of these um, resources out to Google Cloud. So I'm really excited about this one. I, again, I have just started playing around with it. I know that there are some new features coming. There's a grading feature that's coming. There's a science lab generator feature that's coming. And then there's a scope and sequence. And I'm really excited about the scope and sequence. So check out Elena. It's elena.us. And um, put some comments below if you end up using Elena and you find that you have some resources or some ideas that you could share with colleagues. Good luck.